damn, Alex, two episodes in one week. What, are you fucking going through something? Going through it? I have an existential crisis, it seems like, every other month, man. I'm barely breaking, what, 30? And this is, what, a midlife crisis? Imagine that. I plan, I plan on leaving when I'm around 60. Leaving, exiting the game, what have you, what have you. Today is Thursday, March 31st, 2021. Wait, March 31st, 2022. I'm fucking up. And uh, this episode is, is essentially about waking people up, man. I mean, I, I, I was a little antsy. I'm, I'm itching to end season four and jump on to season five because, like I said, the material is going to get a little denser. The material is going to become a little more uh, edgy. Is it as edgy the word I'm looking for? Or is it inflammatory? Is it just straight up inflammatory? Just inflaming motherfuckers. Because this corporate shit, man, this corporate shit is life. And what people have to do is wake up and smell corporate. Wake up and smell corporate. None of this, n- none of this shit. This this passivity coming from people from <clears throat> religions of 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 all sorts, religions of peace, putting on this front of peace, while at the same time they're associating, they're associating, if not affiliating, with corporate operation, and simultaneously denying their participation in corporate. This corporate world is nothing to fuck with. You might be not of this world, but you damn sure are of this corporate world. Yo, look out for my <laughs> look out for that for that bumper sticker. O T C W of this corporate world. And the sooner you come to terms with reality, the sooner you recognize that if you are not playing, you are getting played i'm i mean i'm not gonna say i'm i'm up to here like i'm fed up but it does irk me when motherfuckers want to just stack a little bit and then exit the game they could stack a little bit or stack a lot but the point is but 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 the notion that they could exit the game at at their whim it's misconceived. It's misconceived. You don't just leave life, man. You don't just leave life. If you leave life, you aren't living. You're necessarily unalive. You're fucking dead, for lack of a better word. You're fucking dead. So these players who think they can just exit the game and stop playing, if you aren't playing, you are not playing. If, if you're not playing the game and it might be honestly it might be uh judiciously it might be decisively it might be uh 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 finessedly if you're not playing the game either you're getting played or or you've fucking exited the lobby man you you've exited the game and and that's not that's it's to highlight the fact that folks really believe and i'm going to say they're misguided in this sense but they they honestly they honestly believe and think that it, it is righteous to uh amass some kind of wealth and then exit the system exit the larger system and and i don't know run off into the woods and build a fucking compound or i don't know start building <clears throat> timed explosive devices in a fucking shelter, you know. They they honestly believe that that's the way to go without giving a second thought to fixing the system that they are prospecting exiting that they are planning on exiting. If they if I mean and until word comes down from above, right, that the shit is going down, 
until word comes down from above that the shit is coming down, that the shit is being destroyed, and that you ought to leave and not look back, lest you be turned into a pillar of salt type deal. Bro, why the fuck are you leaving corporate? Pussies. Pussy ass motherfuckers running away from their problems. And you know what? Corporate just gonna come out and find you in your little ass cabin out in the woods, out there. What you don't think it's happened before? What you don't think corporate doesn't have a hit squad? Bro, no. <laughs> Chiquita Banana, Dole Pineapple comes to mind. They'll find your bitch ass wherever you are. And if it ain't pineapples or bananas, they'll do it for something else. They'll find you. They'll murk your bitch ass. And you will have deserved it. Unless you're already sitting cushy on some fucking uh, uh, plush ass trust fund. And if you are a trust fund baby, I already know you're a bitch. Fuck your bitch ass. Suck a dick. I don't care if you're chopping wood eight to five Eight to six with no lunch, Monday through Friday. Eat dick, you bitch. Why? Because you ain't contributing much. What are you doing? Chopping wood to what? Light your fire every night and then that's it? That's just, what you, that's just how you're going to live your life? Oh, you got investments running? Do you have an active hand in them? Or do you have managers that you trust blindly? You ain't really playing. You think you're playing. You're getting played. Go back to episode two, season one. That's the problem with big data. That's the problem with any size data is that the data can be cooked up. The data can be doctored and served up to you in the on a silver platter. And what are you going to do? Just nod your head? Oh, okay, fuck it. <laughs> chop it, chop it wood. I'm fucking wearing flannel. I got this sick ass beard and a gay ass beanie, bitch ass pussy made motherfucker. I don't care if you're yoked, if you're juiced, you're tatted. I don't give a fuck what you've been through. If you're not actively playing, you deserve to get got. The shit going on in corporate, I don't want to hear none of this passivity bullshit like you're just I'm just passing through I'm you know I'm not of this world acting overly righteous turn the other cheek as bitch how about you just bend over and spread your cheeks because that's what you're doing with the game you already lost the game welcome back to the 90s you bitch ass punk fucking Punk ass bitches, man. Ultimately, though, it is what it is. I mean, they could have their assets sitting in accounts remote from where they are for all I give a fuck. And I, I mean, they could they could run the shit electronically if they want. Ultimately, it ends with a human. This paper trail has a fucking human at the end of it. This digital footprint is created by someone at the end of the day and they will be found and they will be hold on they will be uh <laughs> they will be addressed accordingly <laughs> and that's in any system any system you put in front of me i'm already thinking of some corporate cowboy shit to deal in it with Wheeling and dealing, running and gunning. That's just some corporate cowboy shit. If if you're if you're in corporate and you see some some inequity, some evil ass shit taking place, why why what makes you think you could just go to your manager or go above them to their manager? What, what makes you think you could you could lodge a, a, a lawsuit against them and get any kind of of equitable justice from it when corporate runs this shit and if the people inside of corporate are pieces of shit what you expect good to come from such a process you expect good to be processed by these people within these institutions 
Nah, man, you're fucking blind. You're blind to what's taking place in front of you. And this shit, this shit feels like ripping the wool off of someone's eyes right before they meet God. And even then, uh, supposedly, the presence of God is blinding. Well, you ever stared? You, you ever stared? You ever looked the devil in the eye and then had to shake their hand? And not only are you not blind, but have to appreciate the moment? Yeah. Yeah. Funny, and that's how life works. Funny, that's how life works. Where, where what we see, what we can see, and what we can outline and define and, and appreciate is what we know, is what we're comfortable with, is what we're familiar with, is what we feel easy navigating through and coming to terms with. I get it. Humans are resilient. They can reconcile with a lot of egregious, atrocious shit. And what they can't see, not because of what they can't see, but what they can't see because it'll blind them, (laughs) they don't go looking for. That's fucking wild. That's wild. So if you see that happening in corporate, what are you going to do? You're going to turn a blind eye? Because you're not of this world, so you are not about to put in work, you pussy ass bitch. Man, I'm about to I'm about to name this episode Motivation Monday. And it's fucking Thursday today. Imagine that. But hey, that's how twisted the world is. That's how we can create cohesion and comprehension out of a world view of corporate. That's just some corporate cowboy shit for you to take in and consider. Obviously, you want to take everything that's said on this podcast with a grain of salt. All these opinions and all these ideas that come from my network. I just put them out there to be able and, and spitball metaphorically. I just throw them out there into the ether. Because I know some of it carries weight. Some of it has a lot of merit. And some of this is uh, meant to be ignored? Question mark? Question mark? Fucking two question marks on that bitch. Meant to be ignored? What, you're just going to turn a blind eye to <laughs> to what we do in corporate? Right, right. I thought, nah, I'm not, I'm not going to say that. If you see something happening in corporate, don't say anything. Just fucking do something. I get it. It's hard. If you have to do it by yourself, you have to plot and you have to plan. It pushes you out of your comfort zone. Oh, you might have a family. You got mouths to feed. You got more people to consider. Well, you should have fucking researched the company you went to go work for. How about that? Isn't that what they taught you before you interviewed? Aren't you a professional? Don't you click the about us link for this fucking organization that you uh, went to go work for? Oh, but they're not that open. Oh, okay. Well, I mean, all right. I, I, I get it. I get it. You've got to trust to get in, but then once inside, you got to verify. How else are you going to move up? Right? You verify those around you. You get a feel for what the environment looks like. You get, you get, you, you, you get a, 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 tac- a sense of tactical awareness of what your surroundings are look like, the individuals that take up positions in the organization, what they do, what their responsibilities, what their duties, what their actions consist of on a day-to-day basis. What you're not you're not running this program in your head. You're not building a plan, 
of how to move up, of how to advance, how to get promoted, how to ascend. And if it ain't within the organization, rip them for what they got. And I don't mean, no, I don't mean fraud. I don't mean embezzlement. I, I mean, it's, you can think of it as clandestine. You can think of it as extortion. Ultimately, it's innovation. Ultimately, it's creativity. You want to take your idea and you either want to pitch it up, pitch it forward, or you want to extricate that shit. You want to extract that shit and take it somewhere else. Be a professional. Put it down on paper. Make it something you can hold. And keep it moving. Keep it moving. If somebody gets in your way, I don't know, fucking gank them. Fucking, fucking clip them. What do I look like? A career consultant? Or what do you know? I am. Fucking. <laughs> what do you know? I am. You got one or two options, man. You got one of two options. You want to move up, you either do it inside or you do it outside. You either go inside or you take it outside. And, and, and you can read between the lines on that two or three or four different ways. Either take it outside the corporation or you cash them outside. How about that? Fucking use your imagination. Whether they beat that shit out of you before you were 18. And what, after you're 18, you're just a fucking uh, retarded drone carrying on day to day? Oh, I'm not, I'm not over this world. I'm fucking, I'm just working for the check. That's some NPC ass bullshit. Pussy made motherfuckers. Anyways. Have a great weekend. <laughs> Catch us on Instagram. We just pulled up a TikTok. If you haven't seen, the TikTok is 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 funny. It's funny. Got very limited posts on that. It's probably going to be every so often. Whenever we can jump on a trend, make something go viral. Obviously, we're going to make it uh, thematic, thematic to corporate. It's just going to be a corporate takeover, man. You got to wake up and smell corporate. Wake up and smell corporate. Because if you're not thinking corporate, man, corporate's thinking about you. I'm thinking about you in the most intimate of ways. You can subscribe on the Patreon, Corporate Cowboys. Become a subscriber. I'm going to try to keep it down to... I mean, I'm going I'm to create, uh, I might have some tiers created for a couple of different levels. And then based on that, I don't know what benefits we'll get. Shit, we might start going nonprofit on that. Start, uh, uh, start providing nonprofit benefit on that. Some charitable benefit. I don't know, maybe make it tax deductible. For being a member. We'll figure it out. You want to send us something directly? I mean, it ain't going to be untraceable, but you could send if you got if you have disposable income, shit, I need uh I wasn't gonna say ammo, but we're always in need of funds for business expenses and legal fees. <laughs> y'all like y'all like how I've been using that blanket term? Do you all like how I've been using how I have been using that blanket term? See, I've also I have also been trying to avoid using contracted terms, contractions essentially. Words that have apostrophes in them. Man, I don't know what it was this evening, man. Something just told me to pipe it up. But I, I'm I'm cooling I'm cool down now. Right, and I feel like this episode was rather cathartic, if you don't mind me saying. <laughs> I think we've made a breakthrough. Fucking <laughs> yes, I'm a consultant. I'm not a therapist. Don't get me fucking twisted. 
So if you do need, uh, I don't know. I mean, it, obviously I've, I've got to listen before I could speak. So in that sense, maybe the therapy is on you to have it be as cathartic as possible. But obviously as a professional, I'm not going to uh, propose the last resort up front. Go listen to that episode, the last resort. <laughs> I'm not going to propose it up front, but that shit's always on the table. Among dozens of other options, and I mean dozens, dozens. I don't mean thousands or infinitely because, I mean, you don't have endless amount of time. But we could probably come up with a dozen, and they all require legwork. They all require active participation on your side. Just in the previous episode, episode 28, you have to want the help. You have to ask for the help. Otherwise, it's just a free service. And free service goes underappreciated, goes undervalued by a fuck ton. By a fuck ton. Until you're actually paying for it. Or if you see the value and then pay for it, that's you actively appreciating it and that takes maturity so if you can do that kudos kudos if you can grow as a human in corporate kudos kudos because that's what corporate needs doesn't need pussy motherfuckers that are just gonna turn tail and run out it reminds me of a scarface quote where Tony's saying, uh, this, I don't know if he says this city or if he says this country is like a great big pussy just waiting to get fucked. (laughs) That shit cracks me up. And you motherfuckers are running, running out of NY, California, running out of Washington going to these other states thinking that it's going to be different, corporate will find your bitch ass wherever, wherever you lay your head. They will drag you out and mouth fuck you. <laughs> Pussy ass bitches, yo. I don't, I don't get what it is. It's insecurity. I don't know. You can't fend for yourself. You can't put in a little work. You don't want to get your hands dirty. It's inferiority. Maybe you, you, you don't know how to, or you can't, you are unable to, you're disabled. Maybe you're (laughs) mentally incapacitated. You fucking retard. And I got nothing against people who have actual mental disability, right? Because I mean, they aren't in any condition to process higher level of thought that equates to logic and tact. So I don't hold them to those expectations. But these, but these other motherfuckers who know what is going on, understand what is going on, and still turn a blind eye to it, I should just take your fucking eyes then. I mean, <laughs> I should, the fuck you need them for? The fuck you need your brain for? Catch you lacking. I'll squeeze two at your bitch ass. I mean, I mean, um, no, nah, consider staying. Consider staying in your state and actually putting in a little work. Make life better. Make life better. Handle this shit outside of the courtroom. Handle this shit locally before it gets out of hand. Before it gets out of hand. Because the more you run, the more tired you will become. And nigga, we got corporate cars out here. We we got company cars. So... You do what you have to, I guess. I'm just letting you know what needs to be done.